Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim and in this video I'm going to explain to you how you can add auto captions to your video. All right, to get started, it's very easy. Simply head over to your browser and type in the URL box edit.new and click on enter. You can also click on the first link in the description. Now we're redirected to Veed's online video editor and you can instantly get started. You don't have to download anything. I want to upload my video, so first you can choose one of the templates or you can simply start from scratch. Now I just want to upload my video, so I'm going to click on upload a file. Select the video I want to add and click on open. After a moment, your video is imported and uploaded into the editor and we can watch the video back. I just wanted to explain what space smells like, as in space, space, the universe. All right, now I want to add auto captions to this video. So to make that happen, it's very easy. Simply head over to the left menu and click on subtitles. Now a couple of subtitle options are possible. For instance, you can upload subtitle files separately. You can add manual subtitles or the easiest and more convenient way, you can add automatic subtitles. So we're going to click on auto subtitle and then we're going to select the language you speak in our video. In this case, it's English and then click on start. Now you can just sit back and relax until the auto subtitle tool automatically transcribe the audio to text. And now, as you can see, the audio of the video is transcribed and subtitles are added to the video. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim. So in this video, I just want to nice. As the subtitles are added to the video, we can start editing the subtitles. For instance, you can change all the words in the text boxes on the left. Uh, I don't need to change anything for now because the auto transcription tool did a wonderful job, fortunately. But let's say you just want to add an exclamation mark behind Tim in this case, or you just want to delete subtitles. You can just click on the trash can. And if you want to add subtitles, simply click on the plus icon in between the subtitles or simply head over to the bottom timeline and click on add subtitle. I'm going to make the bottom timeline a little bit bigger. And as you can see, all the subtitles are portrayed there as well. You can resync all the subtitles and retime them. And as I said, the auto transcription tool actually synced the subtitles with the video already. So I don't need to do much, but let's say you want to resync the subtitles. You simply click on one of the subtitles and just drag it around or you can extend and shorten them. You can also split the subtitle if you use the playhead and simply go to a specific part of the subtitle. You simply let it rest there and click on split subtitle. And now it will be divided in two. And as we can see, this apparently smells like hot metal. It turned into two subtitles. So that's how you add captions to your video automatically. Now let's say you want to download these subtitles separately as a text file or an SRT file for instance. It's also possible. Head over to options in the subtitles menu. And below download subtitles, you can select the format you want to download it as. You can choose SRT, VTT or text. In this case, I'm going to choose SRT. I'm going to click on it and click on the download button on the right. Now, let's say you want to burn the subtitles into the video and export it like that. It's also possible, but first let's just customize the design of the subtitles. To make that happen, simply head over to styles in the subtitles menu. And you can easily change the font, the font size, the font color, the background color, and you can reposition the subtitles the way you like. Cool, so now I'm satisfied with the subtitle style and the position of the subtitles, and I can watch the video back. In this video, I just wanted to explain what space smells like. Nice, so now I want to export my video. So to make this happen, head over to the export button in the right top corner, and then choose your preferred render settings. You can choose YouTube, 4K, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you like. I'm going to choose HD for now. Make sure burn subtitles is enabled because that's what's going to make the subtitles burned into the video naturally. And then click on export video. After your video with subtitles is rendered, you can share your video. If you click on the share button below the video, you can copy the link. You can share them on your socials or embed it on your website. Or if you want to download your video to your device, simply head over to the download button below the video, click on download MP4 and it should be in your downloads folder. All right, and that's how you add auto captions to your video. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.